How's it going? Alright, so here we are. We're going to do the Pontiac T5 2007 rear brakes. And uh, as you can see, here's the old ones. Just had to pop the tire off. Got jacked out with a safety stand there. And uh, yeah, so there's your wheel cylinder. Keys out of my hand. Here's your brake shoes. These ones have a return spring here. And actually, here's a return spring. They have this big return spring that goes under, kind of loops up on a hinge there, and then comes back. So it's a little harder to get off, but uh, I'll show you what to do. First thing we're going to do is just take off these smaller, this smaller spring. Just unhook it from back in here. Remember where all your parts go. It's good to take a picture or keep the other side together. And then we'll be taking out the star wheel. And then the only other spring to take out is this one here. So I'll show you what it's like. Okay. <clears throat> so taking this off, the spring just pops off. Just use some pliers. Uh, then what you have to do, there's two ways of doing it. If you're comfortable, I know some guys will just basically pull one of these and the whole thing just falls apart. <laughs> or if you're going to take it off step by step, you need to loosen off the uh, star wheel. So once you get that loosened off, uh, you can actually pull that out like so. And this piece will actually come off right in there and then usually a good idea is to lay it out if you're uncomfortable with it you can lay it out and uh... just so you know how it came off how to go back together so then the next step is you just basically remove these just one side it'll fall apart at that point All right. and one thing now that the shoes are off again we just took out the the spring there. Now, your parking brake lever kind of went ahead, but this was attached on the parking brake, and it just sits there. The, the way I do it is, is when it's on there, I kind of put some vice grips on it, yank the parking brake a bit, and then that spring becomes loose, and you can twist that parking brake off. So, that's probably the best way to do it. I'll try and show you how I put it back on. Alright, so there's the park brake installed. Um, it's, uh, it can be challenging. Uh, I think you're, you're supposed to be able to push it over this piece here on the brake cable, uh, but it, I don't know if it's just because it's brand new, it won't fit over, so I had to basically pull on the cable this way and then try and push back on that spring with the park brake cable and then kind of maneuver it on so it's kind of one of those things you just have to do and uh, kind of get the hang of it so anyway we'll continue on alright another thing to note all these points here, you can, you can see kind of the raised. Another one there, there's a few of them around there. You should clean them off, throw a little anti seize on them. And uh, while you're at it, you can always throw just a little on the studs here for your wheels. And, alright, just another little tip. Alright, so we got the new pads on. It is quite a struggle with this spring, I'll admit. It's That spring is pretty tough to get on. What I find is if I get one uh, somewhat lined up, you got to watch it though, because when you're prying on one side to get that fucking spring in, uh, you got to watch your piston on this side, because if this one comes out too far, it'll pop right off. <laughs> and if that pops off, then you then you got to hope that you can get the, the bleeder screw right here. Where is it? Right there. If you can get that bleeder screw off, because you're going to introduce air into the system. And 
All right, one thing to note is uh, when you get this all back together, I, I still have to put on the star wheel and the spring, and, but try to center up these, try to center up your shoes with your anchor in here because if it's not quite centered up, I mean obviously when you get breaking it'll probably find its own happy spot so to speak, but uh, you want to try to get those centered so that you're not pinching the boot, you don't want to pinch your dust boot and rip it. And then now you got all this, all the crud coming in there and brake dust and everything else building up inside there, which could work its way in through the wheel cylinder, and then you're into replacing the wheel cylinder. So, all right, so I'm gonna get.